Panthers, where are we heading? Uh, we're going to head to St Bellard's, my uh, local parish, um, with Sean the kit man rocking in the back seat, making sure uh, everything goes alright and uh, we're, we might possibly stop off to, to get a nice Jersey ice cream as well. And St Brellard's is, is your parish, are you born and raised? Born and raised in Brellard, um, West is best, Brellard, Wellard, all those sort of things when I uh, came uh, brought up there but obviously Jersey's tiny so you can't really get too lost. On the left is Le Forget, the upside down boat, as it's shaped uh, and we'll go a few new builds. We're, uh, we're a couple of days after the Battle of Flowers, which is a big thing. Uh, and on the right here, in the flower thing, is uh, Holiday for the Heroes, which is uh, my charity, which I'm ambas an ambassador for, which helps uh, injured servicemen come over here um, and their families to have a holiday, obviously, because Jersey's steeped in uh, wartime history, um, and a lot, a lot of them have got uh, either uh, battle wounds which you can either see or you can't see but uh, obviously you can get you don't have to fly to get over here so they bring people over from from the UK to, to have a nice holiday with their family uh, so it's nice to be uh, associated with a, a charity obviously close to close to uh, my heart as in where from Jersey and uh, sort of war and stuff like that it's close to everybody everybody wants to thank them for their services as we uh, drive past the sea has gone out and the lovely views that we can have. So you're used to uh, the motorway in the mornings between Bath and Gloucester, but this is probably the main Jersey road then? Yeah, Elizabeth Avenue, uh, one of I think three or four roads that you can only go 40 mile an hour down. Um, you feel like you could throw it a little bit faster and go down here, but like I said, when you're a kid you used to just cycle down that road and be overtaking cars. Um, but it's, uh, it's the fastest route around our Jersey. Elizabeth Avenue, uh, with all of the burger bars halfway down and the huts which have been there for years. So my house is that one there. Oakley 45. That is. So you grew up there from the age of? No, that is my nan's house, which my parents now live in. Uh, and uh, it's a lovely house, which brings back lots of good memories. Because um, as we'll see in a minute, I'll drive up the road of all of 400 meters and go see uh, my primary school, where, where uh, it all started uh, with a, a brilliant PE teacher there, Mr. Schweinsteiger. Just past the uh, entrance of the golf club is Lemoy Primary School. Uh, that is uh, the tiny little school where I started my education, um, which was a uh, can't complain of, of my education. I, I loved going there. It was awesome. Um, a lot of good friends made there, and uh, it's changed a bit. Uh, a bit more. Uh, parking around it, where we're sitting in now used to be a big pub, that's changed now. Uh, and then we'll go see the secondary school which is another 5 millimetres down the road. So that, that big green that big green building in the distance was uh, my secondary school of uh, Kennebec Park, um, which uh, was also uh, a brilliant, brilliant time had. Uh, stuck in a stuck in the middle of a little estate. I guess that's where you first start playing hockey. Hockey, cricket, everything. That's the music department there. Big green school. All my friends live around here still. It's quite nice, and on the other side, which you might be able to see through, is, is a massive uh, sports area, which has got all of the uh, football pitches, rugby pitches, it's the entrance to the school, and through there is the big 
Kennebec playing fields, which I just pull down this little drive here, just to give you an idea. It's got a one mile cycle track around the outside. You've got your, the hockey pitch here, 12 tennis courts, a sports centre, uh, football, rugby, everything here. So as a kid, I used to just turn up here with a bag full of as much kit as I can um, and just see who's playing and just join in with any sport, which any kids are. Normally I'd be playing with the older kids because of my brother, but we'd just come out here and play and you'd be out there for days, days when I'd having fun. That is number four, Kennebec Park. That is where I was brought up uh, until my parents moved into uh, my nan's house. That is the house where everything happened. And as you can see from primary school, secondary school, my nan, everything was quite, quite close and uh, it was a good upbringing before obviously life brought me to the UK. Where are we now? Uh, we're down at St Bernard's Beach. Uh, when I wasn't up at the sports field where we looked at earlier, this is where I spent most of my time. I'd be out on the boat with my dad. Um, as you see, the tide's out at the moment, but when the tide comes in, there's a lot of fun. Jumping off the pier when you're a kid's brilliant, jumping off the rocks around the corner. Um, and you can't really complain. Uh, yellow sand, no stones in it. A lot of fun, you think. It's a bit overcast today, and there's still plenty of people on the beach. And um, the boys are going to come down here tomorrow, I'm guessing, and have a lot of fun. And uh, rugby obviously wasn't your first love. You picked up loads of sports. Jersey seems to be a, an island where everybody's active. Yeah, like you said, you've seen the big sporting feels that I was at earlier, everything's so close that uh, you're always going to play one thing and probably partake in something totally different. So down on the beach, you, at the moment you're paddle boarding out there, when the tide's up there's water skiing in, you've got rock jumping, people playing beach cricket, um, in the early morning and late you've got horses on the beach as well running and people are running and riding so uh, there's lots of stuff going on and uh, my dad's local pub on the other side of the beach, uh, the smugglers. So in, as a kid, I used to walk along the beach a lot to either get my dad to walk back from the pub, but it um, brings back a lot of good memories. And finally, your first time back on the island in two years. Has much changed or I'm guessing everything's still the same? Same faces? Uh, yeah, same faces. Some new buildings, but that happens everywhere. But uh, same faces, same places. Um, people seem happy. They always are in Jersey when the sun's out.